Most self-improvement videos are just somebody speaking on camera like I'm doing right now and basically telling you how to live your life and what to do. That's fine and all, but what does it actually look like? What does a realistic day of self-improvement or just pursuing uh, your goals actually look like for like a normal person? Well, this is what my channel is dedicated to. Let me show you how to do it, how to be disciplined, and hopefully you can get inspired and learn something new today. Let's go. Welcome to the Rootless Discipline series. The aim of this is to show you self-transcendence, which is the art of overcoming yourself through discipline so you can have perfect days and achieve your goals. This means I have to perfectly complete all tasks in my schedule without doing any bad habits. And if I do this, I have self-transcended and I'm one day closer to my goals. I'm going to document my journey while teaching you the lessons. If you want to be disciplined and achieve your goals, join the free community in which you'll find the self-transcendence challenge and a bunch of other things which should help you become a disciplined man all right so here is what a day in the life looks like first thing you wake up early so right now it's 8 15 i'm not the earliest wake waker up but i am waking up i wake up at the same time every single day because it makes it way easier to wake up i sleep with a tape on my mouth and this is basically to prevent mouth breathing i also I don't know, I forgot. No, I, yeah, my phone is like there. So my phone is far away, which means I, I don't, I can't open my phone to scroll. I can't hit the snooze. I just have to wake up immediately. And that's one of the most important things. You have to immediately get up. Like don't lie in bed. You have to start your day well. That's the most important thing. If you wake up and start doing your most important work as quickly as possible, I'm telling you, your day is gonna go well. Your day is gonna go well. Because you already have that inertia, you already have that momentum, and you're going where you wanna go. But if you wake up and scroll, or watch porn, or snooze, it's just not gonna happen for you that day. Fifteen minutes meditation after the morning love chat. That's why I chat. If you see me with my phone, looking at my phone. Yeah. All right. So the first thing we do is work. Like that's the most important thing. So always put the most important task in the morning. And this helps you basically get it done. And when you do the most important tasks in the day, every day, you're gonna have a good life. You're gonna achieve what you want. So for this deep work session, it's a five and a half hour deep work session. I'm gonna create the vlog. So I'm gonna edit it, I'm gonna upload it, and I'm gonna create a hook for the next vlog. Uh, I'm gonna record the hook, I'm gonna get the thumbnail, you know, get the idea for the vlog. That's what I'm gonna do first. And then I'm gonna spend, um, <clears throat> about one and a half, two hours contemplating. Uh, contemplation I do once a week because basically I get one billion ideas. I get so much information in one week. I write it all down in the document. If I think about it during each day, it really slows me down. So what I decided to do is do it once a week, deeply contemplate once a week. And honestly, it's one of the most productive tasks I do. Somebody would look at this and say, you know, contemplation is not productive. I completely disagree, like literally changed my life, contemplation, learning how to do that. And I just, every, every week I contemplate, I just know I'm on the right path because I've already thought about it. And I'm gonna show you what contemplation looks like in one second. For now, let's uh, do the video and I'll be back with you when I'm uploading it for maybe doing the hook. 
All right, so before I start editing the video, I just want to read out a quick comment. So Pepak says, if you think life isn't that hard, you've never been in a circumstance that made you truly depressed. I have been in a circumstance in high school. I had the social anxiety, which basically led me to be an isolated person. Uh, it led me to not be able to speak to people, quite literally. Um, and that made me suicidal and lonely. And then um, after high school, so I, be I became incredibly empty. I had no purpose to my life. Uh, I had nothing. And uh, that's also when I got depressed. And both times I had uh, serious suicidal thoughts. So when you say you've never been in a circumstance, how do you know me, bro? Like you don't know who the fuck I am. Um, there's nothing wrong with what you think it works for you, but this is, isn't going to work for others. Maybe they'll just start hating themselves more and more because they can't do things like normal people can. Listen, I don't know what that is referring to, but that video, life isn't that hard. You're just being a bitch. That video is basically, basically comes from the knowledge that a lot of young men sit there in their room and they just complain. Oh, life is so hard for me. This, that, the other. Not that, not the case, bro. H hard life is being in war. Somebody you love dies. You have cancer, that's a hard life. You know, you don't have money to pay the rent or the food, that's a hard life. I sympathize with that. But life being hard, you sitting in your room and playing games all day, your life is not hard. You're just being a bitch, you just get up and do something. You're depressed because you keep doing the same stupid habits over and over again. You're not living like a man, you're living like a bitch and that's why you're depressed. So that was what this video was referring um, to. <clears throat> but yeah, thanks for commenting anyway. Uh, I like feedback, I like you know different opinions so we can discuss them. I'm gonna get back now to my work. Okay, so I'm uploading the video. Now it's time for the road talk. Um, you know, I always feel super lazy before doing the road talk, I'm not gonna lie. Why? Because I have to set up the environment, warm up my voice, fix my thoughts, do all this stuff that uh, you don't see but you know these videos i don't want them to just motivate i want to actually teach you something so from what i've learned you know i'm gonna teach you related lessons that can help you be more disciplined more consistent with your goals and that's my aim every single day it's not clickbait videos they don't hold retention but for the people who are actually patient and serious about this journey these videos are worth it. So let's go through the, the, the road talk. All right, so let me briefly talk with you today about my journey of self-improvement and maybe you can learn a lesson or two. I started at 15 years old, so I was a depressed kid. And not only was I depressed, I was really depressed. I was like, uh, I was wearing every day in school I would wear a hood, like a hood, and even when the teachers told me to not do that, they explicitly said to not do that, I keep wearing the hood in class. The reason I wore this hood is because I wanted to hide from the world. I was incredibly insecure. Um, I just didn't, didn't want to talk to anybody. I was super depressed, like super depressed. I can't even explain it in, in words. I was really bad. I don't know why, probably because of the way modern life is set up with all these instant gratification habits that ruin your mental health. And it's only a matter of time before the mainstream finally recognizes this. But yet, yeah, that's my starting point. You know, I was a 15 year old, ugly, skinny, depressed kid who was completely socially awkward and I didn't really know what to do with my life, obviously, at that age. It's impossible. But yeah, that's my starting point. Skip forward around six, seven years later, and here I am in front of you, and I'm almost a fully uh, realized man. So my mental development is great, intelligence, consciousness, uh, critical thinking, decision-making, happiness, self-control, all that is great, mental development, physical development, I don't know, you tell me, it's pretty good, 
is pretty good. I'm very athletic, very healthy. Social development is pretty good. Social skills are in place. Um, now I realize how smart the decisions I've made in life with that are. And, uh, you know, purpose or career-wise, I do have a purpose. I know exactly what to do. I have a plan. The only thing is now to work hard and wait for some time for things to start get rolling. So that's my position. I'm, I'm almost a fully realized man after six, seven years of self-improvement. And the way I started was I just hit the gym. So I was super depressed. I had really bad thoughts all day, anxiety. I was really insecure with how I looked. And I thought to myself, you know, I should hit the gym. And if I hit the gym, I'll do better. And I did. And that's how I went down the rabbit hole. Then I started reading books about self-help. And then I started watching the videos. I did no fap. I did looks maxing, dressing up, getting a haircut. I started doing all this stuff. I did everything. In those six, seven years, I've done everything. And, you know, I know what is bullshit and what is not bullshit. The point of this whole story is to tell you that a realistic self-improvement journey. So we're talking a realistic day in the life, but what about a realistic journey? Well, it's slow. It's really slow. If you think you're going to fix your life in one month, 50 days, three months, whatever people want these days, like people, you know, you see on YouTube, change your life in 50 days. And then the video has like 2 million views. It's, that's not how it works. You're not going to change your life in 50 days. You're going to change your life in five years. It takes a while to develop. Like it takes years to develop everything because you can do it quick. You can do it in two years, to be honest. But the problem is that you won't do it. You'll still be playing video games. You'll still be making mistakes with your discipline. You'll be wasting a lot of time. And that's part of the game because part of self-development is discipline, is self-control. That's, uh, that's the mind. That's developing your mind. So learning that will develop your mind. You have to learn how to control yourself and manipulate your thoughts and your emotions so they don't control you. That's one of the most important parts of self-improvement. So yeah, enjoy the journey. It's slow. Right now, you're probably not enjoying it. You're probably telling yourself, oh, I'm, I'm in this hard position in life and I need to get out. No, you're going to look back at where you are right now and you're going to have uh, fond memories, nostalgia, even if you feel in pain right now. In fact, it's because of the pain that you remember and you will remember wherever you are right now for the rest of your life. So the lesson right now is literally just enjoy your self-improvement, enjoy living a disciplined, eudaimonic existence, enjoy pursuing your goals. I'm telling you, life does get better after the goals, but not even that much. So just pursuing the goals is the actual like reward. And you realize this once you achieve some goals and you're like, oh, okay, let's set the next goal. It never ends. So you've already reached a good life in terms of having this mentality of improving yourself. Keep going and enjoy it. It doesn't matter what your position is. Enjoy each problem, laugh at it, and win. If you want to become a disciplined man, if you want to genuinely develop your mind, and become a disciplined person, the best community to do that, the best place to do that is my school community. You can also join the self-transcendence challenge, which is literally what I'm doing right now. I'm doing self-transcendence. I'm practicing being perfect every day. I have a free challenge in the community, so you can join that and you get free access to that and free accountability from me as well. So yeah, I'm gonna be back to my deep work now. Let's go. Okay, so I'm done with the, the video stuff. So the video is uploading as I showed you. It's actually already uploaded, so let me log out over here. Um, I'm done with that. 
and I create also the next video as well, the hook for it. Um, now I'm gonna contemplate. So this is, I'm gonna contemplate today. This is what I'm gonna do. So this is what contemplation looks like. I mean, you can read this, you can pause the video and read this if you're interested. This is what I'm gonna do. So first is focus on the present. Um, I'm gonna add everything I've learned into my frameworks. I'm gonna contemplate uh, life decisions if I have to make any. Then I'm gonna focus on the past. So I'm gonna analyze the week and identify my mistakes. I'm gonna check the previous week and see whether the changes have worked. I'm gonna create new improvements and change my schedule a little bit. I'm gonna reevaluate the crucial work tasks, the 80-20 rule, and I'm gonna implement the improvements into my work process or whatever process I have to do. And finally, I'm gonna focus on the future. So I'm gonna update my purpose vision with any new ideas I might have. I'm gonna read the vision and, and feel it, you know, like uh, really visualize it, get inspired for the next week and I'm gonna indoctrinate all beliefs and identity. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that, <clears throat> basically changing my belief system. Um, yeah, that's what contemplation looks like. I'm gonna um, do it for as much as I can. And for the first time, by the way, I'm faster than I, I, I could be. So uh, I'm actually faster than I thought I could be. So for the first time, I'm not slower. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna contemplate and I'm gonna be back uh, with what I've what I've thought about. Okay, so my work session is technically done, um, but this is the weather outside. So instead of um, torturing myself and going out to work out in this weather, uh, I'm gonna wait it out, and hopefully it does not rain in like one or two hours. Meanwhile, obviously, I'm not going to waste time. I'm gonna keep contemplating. We are um, not even halfway done today. So the contemplation, there's, we, yeah, I need to, um, I have a lot to do. So I'm gonna keep working, contemplating this time. And <clears throat> I'll get back to you maybe when the, when it stops raining and I can actually go work out. Okay, so it looks like, um, the weather has calmed down. I'm praying and hoping that uh, it does not catch me in the middle of my workout, but I am going to start. So this is the schedule. I'll be back with you when I'm doing the exercises. Immediately a mosquito came to bite me. So here are the exercises. Um, the only worry is that I'll, because it's wet, my arms might slip, like my hands might slip from the bar and I might fall down. But at least I want a comedic sound effect if that happens. didn't fall down but just barely All right, so do something called a, a Superman push-up. At this point, I feel sorry for myself. Like these exercises, they're getting ridiculous. Maybe I should go back to the gym. Holy fuck. Check this out. Perfect. 
preparing psychologically for this shit. Better than I thought. Still bad though. Alright, so I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna go eat, and I'll be back with you in one second for the next deep work session. Rap music for deaf people. Okay, so we have the schedule. I'm back on my desk, it's time for the second deep work session. So I'm gonna finish the contemplation. I have a bunch of business stuff to do, a coaching call included. I'm probably gonna learn on my goals, fi finish the vlog, and maybe if I do have some time, I'll create a coaching course, but probably not. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the work session. Uh, somebody's writing me, but let me read out a comment, okay? So, Bidoy, or Andrew as I know him, says, I feel guilty whenever I do not work. In terms of self-improvement, basically spinning circles for, I think, two to four years, despite having no other goal, paradoxically enough. Yeah, you can do that um, if, you, if you don't exactly know how to be productive and disciplined. You can have a goal, but literally not make progress. That's what the, the, the channel is about. I had month uh, long, if not longer, burnout periods of times. So one time, even a clinical diagnosis for a no liver issue, wanting to complete remission, it was mostly fine after one month of rest, uh, not trying to constantly work myself like a robot did unironically cure most of my depression, undiagnosed but pretty bad subjectively, especially when my entire self-worth is based on output. <clears throat> Still somewhat depressive, it might be an iron deficiency, I got DX with it, um, no idea how to actually rest is not exerting myself, is boring. So listen, I get that you want to work, I want to work as well, but in life, you can't exactly work all the time, like uh, burnouts happen. It's just impossible. Like it's, it's even if you want it, like, understand this. Working and resting is much more productive than working all the time. Because when you don't rest, the burnout is quicker and you end up just, you end up resting more than if you hadn't worked, but now it's just longer. It's not even enjoyable. So you need to sustain a lifestyle. You can sustain for long periods of time. 80 hours of work is maybe 90 hours, I can imagine, but that's the most you can push it without burning yourself out for a while. Don't overexert yourself. Do what you can. And to be honest, 
Don't feel bad when you rest, okay? Attach your self-worth to doing the right things in life. It's not the right thing to only work, work, work. You define what the right thing is, but don't attach your self-worth just to work and doing work. Some of it should be attached, so you hold yourself accountable, but most of it you should attach to just the right actions, and the right action sometimes is to have rest. You should rest as much as it's enough to not burn out. If you constantly burn yourself out, you're working way too much, the current conditions are way too tough. So yeah, that's what I want to say. The way you can do this, the way you can um, just take my advice and figure out how much to work, basically work for one week. Just have a one easy week. So one week, just work as much as you feel good working, okay? Do that for one week, then calculate your average every single day, and then divide it by six if you want to work six days a week, or by seven if you want to work seven days a week. And then that average, hold yourself accountable to achieve it every day. And then each and every week, you increase that average work time with 15 to 30 minutes per day. So let's say that you decide to work every day and your average work time per week or per day is six hours. Well, next week, try to do six hours and 15 minutes each day and do this until you want to, until you reach the amount of work you want. But no matter how much work you reach, you still need one to two hours of rest if you want to sustain it. Otherwise, you burn out. So, yeah, that's my advice. That's what I did. I worked for one week as much as I could. I figured out that it was about uh, six hours. And then from six hours, I've consistently increased my work until now it's uh, literally just 12 hours. So I don't want to increase it anymore. I don't have the time. Um, I would, but yeah. Now I'm going to do my deep work session. Let's go. All right, so I'm finally very slowly done with the contemplation. Uh, basically, I did a lot of stuff. Actually, I'm not done. There's a little bit left, but pretty much I'm done with the improvements for the week. So I'm gonna do a few improvements. One of them is that to have a shorter contemplation. So this is taking way too long. I can't spend so much time just contemplating ideas. I feel like if I give myself pressure for time, I'm gonna do it quicker. So three hours, no more next week. The other step I'm gonna take to improve from last week is to set alarms with a message, which essentially tells me to start work and this way I can do it quicker without delay. Um, also, I'll block certain uh, Google uh, search words. So I've been getting distracted um, just looking up stuff on Google. So I'll block certain words with a site which will prevent me getting distracted. And also, uh, I'm gonna block immediate access to YouTube. So I've blocked YouTube I found myself recently slipping, watching content again, not anything long, just like five minutes or something like that, nothing to note in the schedule, but I found myself uh, slipping again. So before it really becomes a problem, I'm gonna block immediate access, which means that I have to unblock YouTube every time I enter it. And this way I prevent uh, mindless scrolling and potentially a risk of breaking the schedule. Also in terms of uh, the buffer time, so I have 36 minutes of buffer time, which you can see in my schedule over the past week. That's too much, so I've lowered it to <clears throat> only 15 minutes. Um, I need to be stricter and do more work. Like if, if I have 36 uh, minutes of buffer time, literally every day, I'm, I am spending eight and a half hours doing nothing. So I lowered the buffer time for, to 15 minutes for each work session. Also, I created the emergency workout. So this week um, I had to shorten my workout due to circumstances and I feel like this will happen in the future as well. So I created an emergency bodyweight only workout so I can do this workout anywhere, anytime, 
and it's a short workout and it's a difficult workout. So it's around 20 minute workout. Um, and I can use this workout whenever life gets in the way and I have to, I want to work out, but I don't have the full time. So I can use this workout instead, have something ready because I almost quit, you know, around two, three days ago. And finally, I'm going to ch change a little bit the schedule. So I'm going to remove the meditation. I don't feel like it's giving me benefits right now. I'm going to lower the sleep to 15 minutes. So the sleep time, I'm going to lower it with 15 minutes. Um, I don't think that will affect me negatively. I want to try what it's like with only seven hours. And also I'll remove the full warm up from the workout. So I won't do the full warm up. I feel like there's no point. Uh, I'm just going to warm up with this specific exercise before the exercise starts. And I think that will be better. So these are the improvements for the week uh, that I've come up with. And this is what you need to do every week, I would say. Like if you really want to improve your life and just the actions you're taking, every week you need to look at all areas, every task, absolutely everything. This is why it takes me so long. But you need to look at every area and basically come up with creative solutions to the problems. And that's what I'm doing right now. And basically this is how I develop really good discipline. And this is how I just optimized my tasks and my schedule and everything to be perfect because I've been practicing doing this for about a year now. And each week there, there are things to improve and you can get better and better in terms of your productivity and the way you get things done. So yeah, if you do this every week, I, I promise you that your life will be improving. Um, now I'm gonna interact in the communities because I've not done that yet. Um, maybe I'll do something else, maybe not, depends on how much time I have. And then I'll come back with you um, to finish the vlog. All right, I'm done with the work for today. Another day in which I was productive. Now let's look at the week. Let's, uh, um, let me remove this thing from here. Let me turn on the thing from here. And now we have the schedule. So you see the schedule right now, hopefully. If you have eyes, if you don't have eyes, I apologize. You see the schedule and it's perfect. Once again, it's perfect for me. There are no Sundays, Saturdays or whatever the fuck days. Every day you do the work because you want to succeed. You have to enter uh, your uh, grind bolt at some point. So yeah, the schedule is perfect. I'm gonna do this off camera, send some testimonials. This will be a little quick five minutes. I've already done half of it. And uh, I'm gonna create a vlog. I'm gonna finish this vlog, which I'm literally doing right now. So here is the system. Today is Sunday, 8042. This is the day. Actually, no, because we skipped uh, 100 days. No, I'm not 100 days younger. So we fix that. Boom, bam, boom, bam. This will be boom, not done yet. This is yellow, five out of five, zero. Self-transcendence completed, oh shit. Another week in which I'm perfect. So this is the second week in a row. You know, the thing about this plan is like, once you enter the zone, once you start being focused and you really start working every day, it's easier and easier. So the, the hard thing is like getting started. That's the hard part, but once you get started, you can do it every day. So this is what I'm doing right now. Look at this. Look at this discipline, bro. We got all greens. You know how long it took me to develop this? I wish I knew what I know now. I wish I knew it four years ago. Seven out of seven perfect days, self-transcendence. Alexander, or actually Caesar Augustus, sorry, don't cut off my head. Mwah. Napoleon, mwah. Angel, mwah. Angel, mwah. We're doing really well. So, yeah, what I wanted to say is thanks for watching this video. If you want to develop discipline like mine, have all greens in your habit tracker. If you want me to help you personally on actually being disciplined, or you wanna just join my challenge, which is completely free. Everything I said is free. You can click on the link in the description, join the free group. 
You, you can get a free call with me. You can also get a free challenge. Everything is completely free. You don't have to pay anything. So you can join that for free. Thank you for watching this video. I'm going to be back tomorrow on Monday with my new schedule. Uh, it's not very different, but it is a bit different. So it's a bit tougher. Uh, let's see if I burn myself out soon. Spoiler alert, probably not.